Hello and welcome to day 64 of the N810 series. Now, a lot of you have asked us, how do we connect N810 to the external world? Let's say, for example, I want to build an app on Lovable and then connect it to N810 so that the backend process, the AI agent is running on N810 and just the output is shown on the front, which is built on Lovable. So let's quickly check how this can be done. So let's firstly build the front end on Lovable and then see how do we connect it on N810. Now, we had done a video where we showcased how do we create summary of YouTube video. We'll be using the same, okay, but we will show how do we do that using a front end on Lovable. So let me give a prompt to build the front end. And this is going to be something like create a one UI section not a full page for a YouTube video summarizer. Only produce the section where the user enters a YouTube URL, style clean, modern, minimal, and elegant. Use the primary accent color. Okay, make the section responsive and compact for mobile first, but pleasant on desktop. Contents and layout, left to right on wide screens, stacked on mobile. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. And I started building. So while this is happening, let's move on to Lovable and build this side of things. So we need a webhook. Okay, so as we have already seen this, uh, we'll start with a test URL and then we'll go to production. So we change this to a post method. And as you can see, the path is like too big. So let's just make it AI summarizer, maybe. Okay, so this becomes the path and authentication is none and respond we have immediately right now. We'll change that a bit later. Okay. Um, so let's see what has happened here. Add YouTube URL input section preview latest. I'm just going to close this. Yeah, so we have this, right? Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this particular link. I'm going to tell it when the user inputs the URL, okay, send that to the below link, okay, below webhook link, I'll see with the YouTube webhook link. And let's enter this, okay, let's just hit enter. This should not take too long. Create the component and send the UR, YouTube URL to the webhook when the user sends clicks, summarize, which is correct. It's editing the file, one edit made. And yeah, so that should be ready. Let me just refresh it just to make sure that the edit has been taken care of. Now let's move on. I'm going to uh, click on listen for test event and I'm going to YouTube, our videos, of course. And um, let's check this one, right? I hope you have, you guys have watched this particular thing where AI was, uh, AI actress was signed for a Hollywood movie. Anyways, coming back, I'm going to paste this link. Have you noticed how you keep delaying the things that Mac? So I'm going to copy this URL from here and add it. Okay, because it's expecting this watch thing. Okay, I'll remove the time and click on summarize. So let's see if it comes here. So you can see here, it has come here. Okay, and the URL should be available here. Body. Okay, and as we had already seen, we have this AP5 node and uh, run an actor and get data set. Okay, we'll use uh, one of the com. Sam should be fine. Uh, this is going to be YouTube transcript scraper. And uh, we already know the input format. So we're going to change that to this one. And rest everything, we'll leave it as is. Let's execute this step. So we've got it. Uh, we'll add a field. Okay, and this time uh, we'll create it manually. And let's call this as transcript. And this is going to be um, join. Okay, so basically we are combining all the transcript because you see here, did you know Hollywood made history by signing what it's calling its first AI, right? So it's breaking it down. So we're combining them together. As you can see, this is the result that we get. Did you know Hollywood made history by signing what it's calling its first AI generated actors for a major film? Yes, you heard that right. So it will combine all the text together. Okay. That becomes the transcript of the entire video. Now, the last thing we have to do is message a model. Open AI. 
chat module. And the last thing that we want to do is check for OpenAI and we have message a model. We're going to use any of the account. Let's go with three and model is going to be, let's say photo and prompt is going to be this one. Okay, summarize the YouTube video transcript and transfer up is coming from here. Okay, so I'm going to run this first and I'm going to run this one now. Okay, so here you see that we have got the content. The YouTube video discusses a groundbreaking development in Hollywood, the introduction of Tilly Norwood, right? So that's what we have got. Now, what we have to do is go here and uh, we have this uh, respond immediately. Instead of that, we will do when last node finishes okay response data is so once we do this what happens is it will wait until all the nodes have finished and then respond back okay um so let's tell that the webhook will respond with the summary of the youtube video youtube video and the data to be displayed is going to be available in let's quickly go here go here as you can see it is under message under content okay available in messages contact just display that as the output okay let's quickly enter and let's see the magic now of course we'll have to go here save this and okay i'll not enable it yet but i'll have to go here and listen for the test event or rather, I'll just execute the workflow from here. Let's wait until this is done. Okay, looks like it has done it. Let's just refresh it. And I'm going to execute workflow. So it's actually waiting for us to give the input. So let's go here, add this particular video URL. Of course, removing the time, hit summarize. Let's go back here. And you can see that this is run, this is run, this is run. And this is running right now. And once this is done, let's see here. Okay, we've not got the summary. Maybe uh, I didn't wait. You will have to wait for five to 10 seconds for the webhook to respond back. Um, so please add an animation, summary getting generated or something similar until you hear that from the webhook. Let's try it one more time. Again, we are doing this so that Anybody who does not know anything about coding will still be able to integrate this on the front end and build an application on top of it. So let's see how this all turns out to be. Okay, say it says it is added. Let's do this. I have just 1.5 credits left. So let's hope that this will work. I'm going here, copying this, coming back here, getting summarized. You can see generating summary. So let's see if it is actually waiting or just showing me the animation. This is running right now. So it's actually taking more than 10 seconds. Okay, it still says no summary available. Um, and I think we have done this right because here it says returns the JSON data of the first entry of the last node, always returns a JSON object, right? Let's try with all entries. Uh, I mean, we have tried it with this, this works. Uh, but let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to execute this step and I'm going to give the same thing again. Let's see. Or maybe we can ask it to wait for more than 10 seconds as it's taking actually more than 10 seconds. Go. Cool. It already stopped before we got any response from here. And that's strange. Please wait until you get the response also as a, as a temporary Time. please display whatever output you are getting from the webhook on the print as is this is one of the ways you can debug okay to see what actually is coming out okay so that you can refine it later um we will hide that later through the entire json has the output wait until you hit a response and do not pre-show no summary available okay Let's see, thinking, updated one file it says. Let's refresh this, refresh it one more time. Let's go back here. I'm just going to get only this one. Of course, we don't need this to be playing. Let's go execute workflow. Let's go here. 
click on this summarize generating summary let's go back here it's just coming here quickly shifting from both to see if yeah you can see here the video content a is coming out right which means the workflow on n 10 is working fine okay now we have to tell lovable we have to show only the content in the message section the output is coming out well okay because if you are not told this okay you are not able to debug like what's coming out okay without understanding the code without uh, seeing the uh, debug uh, mode okay you can still ask ai to do it for you okay now the output is coming out well please display the content okay as the output this change only okay we still have 0 0.9 credits and i hope this should work just fine and no changes needed here apart from making the web up to production okay let's see quickly if this is working fine and then change it to production it is done so let's refresh we have this thing click on summarize fail to process video please oh yeah <laughs> because i have to click on execute this is still under click on summarize so this is running let's wait for 10 to 15 seconds and gives nothing out but i'm sure that this has worked yeah uh this is the annoying factor of using lovable or any of this ai tools but very quickly we will be showcasing you one of the powerful ai tools which can take your prompt and build exactly what you're looking for without any problem. But now let's fix this. Hopefully it will get fixed. Why is the output not being displayed? Content is what needs to be as summary. Once you get the response back, please fix this. So annoying, isn't it? It's taking away the credits, but so it says, I see the issue. There is a fetch error in the console logs. Let me check the response structure and add better error handling to display the content properly. Hopefully this works this time. And it says update to the better, extract the content from the webhook response. Okay, let's see if this finally works because we have zero credits left. Okay, I'm going here. I'm clicking on execute workflow and we'll paste the URL here. Click on summarize and please work. Will this work? Yes. And it says no. The app encountered an error. Try to fix, show logs. Okay, so it say, shows some issue. It's not fixed, okay? But guys, uh, we have zero credits left, so we'll not be able to uh, make any more changes here. But I'll show you a working model. Okay, which we had done while we were testing it. Just so that you don't feel that this is not working at all. Of course, this is connected to a different uh, Aniton workflow, but this works. Okay, so I'm going to add the, oh, <laughs> to get this one and click on summarize. Fail to generate summary, please try again. Okay, I think that's also not enabled. Let me just enable it and show you. So I'm going to enable that by clicking on summarize. And there you go. The video discusses the groundbreaking in in introduction of Tilly Norwood, a AI generated digital act actress created by UK studio Particle 6. Unlike enhanced avatars or filtered ima images, Tilly is entirely artificial with no human counterpart, yet she performs with voice, facial expression, and emotions, all powered by AI. And that's how you connect n to the front end without writing a single line of code and yet build that AI agents your users might want to use. I hope this video was helpful. And please do share what is the next series that you are looking for from us. We will explore the platform, make videos, and share it with you all. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.